Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about scheduling classes and registration. So first thing I'm going to do naturally is schedule a meeting right there. Click on it, and it takes me to the schedule a meeting page. Here I'm going to write registration. Don't need a description. It's going to be for right now. So we're going to make registration required. Now this step is very important. So make sure that you uh, enable registration. And then um, I'm not going to require a meeting password. Scroll down. I don't like them to join before me. Of course, mute them and then record automatically. Next, I'm going to save. What's great about registration is it allows you to add your brand. So this is the link that I can copy and share. Let me scroll down and show you what opens up. What opens now is branding, which is a, a wonderful way to get your organization logo out there. So you click on it and you can upload it, your banner, as well as your logo to make it look more appealing in my opinion and not just to see zoom you can always edit so keep that in mind you could always edit the meeting you can also set a meeting template which i have let me um, go into the template notice you cannot edit the template once you create the class ignore this i can always delete it later i'm going to schedule a new meeting so i can add the template so keep that in mind We'll call this new meeting just uh, registration. Okay, and I'll know the difference. Now, notice you can select the template. Once you create the class and edit, it's not going to help. You will not be able to select. So I'm going to select self-care for educators. Scroll down and do everything else. Registration, notice it's required. And everything else is fine except for this one. Okay, so save and we're ready to go. So now I want to show you what I added. Okay, let's go down so I can show you the branding that I added. Okay, this is what I added and a logo as well. Of course, I can change the template, make new templates. You can add polls in advance to your class. Notice I already have some polls in my template. You can also um, decide what email, where you want things to be sent. And the registration, you can view the registrants. Well, right now it's not, it's a new meeting, so I haven't shared the link yet, but they will appear under view. Okay, this is where you'll see a list of all your registrants with their email address and the date of the registration. And of course, everyone will receive an email that they have registered for your live online session. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.